In this video, I'd like to compare three bash scripts for taking a CSV file and reading it in and sort of parsing each line based on the delimiter of a comma. So first, let me show you the data file in question, some old data I have from uh, fall of 16, 2016, the, the Eagles roster. And so it has things like the, uh, the player's number and the player's last name and first name and position and height and weight and I don't know, maybe age and how many years in the NFL and this college or something. I'm not even sure if that's what it is, but anyway, data. So now I want to do all of these programs do the same thing, just in a different way. I'm going to parse the data and pick out some of the information, the first name, the last name, and the number, and I'm echoing it out. So let me just show you the result. So here's the first one. And I'm just spitting out the information, um, first name, last name, number. Okay. So the first one uses the cut command. And the cut command likes uh, is you can define in the options of the cut command a delimiter which field you want, and but it usually wants to work with a file. So uh, here's the file I'm reading, the Eagle CSV that I showed you, but I'm creating a uh, a fake file I call crap.txt and. I am going to uh, put a single line of my Eagles data into the crap text, and then I'm going to use the cut command on that fake little text file with a single line in it. And then in the end, I will uh, remove the crap.txt file so that I will get rid of all the traces of this way of doing it. So I'm just touching, so I'm creating a, a text file, I hope this file doesn't exist and have something else in it. Um, and I have a while loop here, while read line do, and then here is the done in Eagles being fed into there. So this, loop, this is a loop over the lines of the file. I'm echoing out the line of the file into my uh, crap.txt file. And this is a single sort of, uh, I'll call it an arrow a greater than sign. And so that overwrites. So what, what, what's ever in there is overwritten. So there's always just one line in the file. And then here is my cut command. So I'm saying cut, I'm using the comma as a delimiter with the minus D option. I'm picking up the third field. So the first name was the third field and I'm reading in uh, the file I am cutting uh, is this single line file of crap text and then do it again to get the last name when it's the second field and do it again when it's the first field and I'm echoing those things out. And so that's what I'm doing. So I am getting the three individual pieces of information out of the file, the first name, the last name, and the, uh, the, the player's number. Okay, so that was approach one. Um, it was using the cut command. And the cut command wanted a file, so I created this sort of fake file with one line in it. That was version one. Version two, version two does the same thing. Let me clear and then switch to version two, uh, but same thing. It's just a different way of doing the same thing. So in version two uh, and here, this was just my, my own from many years ago, my own version of this, but uh, here's a version I got from this, uh, site here, and I'm using here, the, or it uses the, this approach uses the, the IFS approach, so the, the field separator approach, and um, 
that's usually the, the, the standard separator, I think, is a, a space, a tab, and a new line. And so, and then it will create an array uh, based on that data with, with that as a separator. Um, and so here I'm using this approach where I am remembering the, uh, the, the standard, the old values of IFS. I'm creating then a new IFS, which is uh, using the comma as a delimiter. And then very much at the end, I will uh, set, take the old values of the IS and put them back into IFS so that I have not changed forever by IFS. Okay. And again, reading the file, do read line do and done eagles.csv. So that part is the same. So here in this uh, approach, um, we are using the minus A option of read and the minus A option of read brings, um, reads in something and turns it into an array. Okay, and it's based on the IFS. So we put the IFS to a comma. So I'm taking, uh, oops, sorry, undo, undo, undo. Where is my undo? There it is, sorry. I'm taking, I'm reading in my line. So this, this triple arrow is sort of the faking in of a read. So before I was creating a fake file, now I'm creating a fake read, but I'm taking the data that is the line from the, the eagles and I'm sort of pretending it was read in and I'm reading it into a, a variable line two, but I'm using the minus A option. So I'm turning it in with this read into um, into an array, so that this is this is a way to create an array from some file, and so I'm using read with the minus a option. Um, the, the array I'm creating is I call line two in this case, and I, what I read in was dollar sign line, so the original line. And again, the triple I'm calling it the triple arrow is sort of faking a reading of the data using a variable and pretending that I'm reading in the data. So then I can use the read command with its minus A option. And then I have, um, then I can take my variables, first name, last name, number, and get them from line two, which I now treat as an array with sort of square brackets and indices, and I'm echoing them out. So that was a second version of splitting um, using the minus A option of read. And I had in my install here, I did not have a, um, a manual for the read command um, was not coming up, no manual entry for read. So I put in here the, the link and the relevant sort of information about what the minus A option is. But uh, so you can Google a man page for read, but it wasn't coming in, in standard in my uh, Ubuntu install. Okay, so version two, a uh, read. Version one was a cut where I was faking a file because cut wanted a file. Version two, I was taking advantage of the minus A option of read, so I was pretending to read something. Version three. Version three does again the same thing. Be down here, uh, clear, and then run version three. Same output, same output, the first name, the last name, the uh, player's number. Okay, so what do we have here? So this is just a comment. This is, here's the, the comment, which is the Stack Overflow page uh, that was answering this question. Um, this was a line in, in that Stack Overflow. This is me model modeling it to what I want to do. They were using a delimiter of a semicolon. I'm using a comma. And so I 
you take the the line in the slash slash, you're going to do a global replace and I'm going to replace commas with a space. And so a space is part of the, the standard INF, or sorry, IFS. Uh, so it is the space works as a separator in normal. And then the sort of with, with the parentheses and the curly, uh, the parentheses are then telling it to treat it uh, like an array. So I'm taking my line, I'm taking my commas. So in my previous example, uh, I had turned uh, the standard separator IFS into a comma. And here we're sort of going the opposite direction. We are replacing our commas with something that is part of the IFS, part of the, the normal separator. So this is just sort of reversed of the previous example. And so we're taking, we're replacing all the commas with spaces, which is part of the normal IFS, and then turning it into an array with these parentheses. And then we can read, and I called it tokens this time, and then I can get the tokens with the appropriate indices to be the first name, the last name, and the number, and echoing them out. Okay. One possible issue I've seen, I've had versions of this data, um, other team rosters, where they didn't treat the uh, first name and last name as uh, separate fields or separate columns, say, in a CSV but uh, they might have the data. Uh, so this is not how my data was, but how data could be. Where is my eagles uh, in document in? So here's my eagles file. And I've occasionally seen this data where it would be uh, all this other data, but the name would be first name, space, last name. Um, and uh, if you wanted the, the data, if your data had some space and you wanted that space to be recognized as a, as a, as a space and not as a delimiter, um, then this approach, so where I was uh, putting my delimiter of comma into a space, if I had other spaces that I did not want to be the delimiter, then um, that could be a problem if somebody had uh, two two last names, as some people do, or you know, if it were a, a name, not a football player, but you know, Mary Beth, something where there was a space in the first. So, if there were spaces in the data, this could cause a problem of sort of introducing more delimiters than you want. So, um, just a possible issue with uh, this approach. Um, so again, the three approaches, I used the uh, cut um, and the deal uh, and introduce this fake file because cut seemed to want a file. Um, changing the IFS and in this case, then I was a faking a read into an array um, after changing the IFS and then ultimately changing it back. And three was sort of the opposite approach of turning my comma delimiter into doing a sort of a global replace and turning my comma delimiter into one of the standard uh, delimiters of the IFS, which is a space. And a possible problem there would be if the data, if parts of the data had spaces that I wanted to be kept as spaces, then this issue would be kept. So those are my three versions of splitting in Bash. Uh, thank you for your attention.